Stephanie from History Hustle and I'm standing in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in front of the national monument, the Tugu Negara, which is not only dedicated to those who fell during World War II, but also those who fell during the Malaysian emergency, which occurred from 1948 to 1960. A conflict not a lot of people know much about. And in this video, I'll talk about that. Just like in many other Southeast Asian countries, communist uprisings occurred after World War II, as well as in British Malaya. The economy went very bad, and British countermeasures didn't solve much. The MCP, the Malaysian Communist Party, which was mainly occupied by Chinese, pointed at the British it was their fault the economy went bad. When in June 1948, three European plantation owners were murdered, the British declared a state of emergency. The MCP withdrew its troops to the jungle and waged a guerrilla warfare against the British. The British responded by protecting their economic resources, which were under attack by the communist guerrillas. They also tried to cut up the supply lines to the MCP that were treated in the jungle. They started a hearts and mind campaign, where they were trying to convince the Malian population of the British cause and point out the danger of the communists. In 1955, they declared amnesty for the communists that surrendered. The British also committed some war crimes. They relocated or deported, as you will, half a million people to so-called new villages. But in reality, these were camps with barbed wire surrounded, so these people could not escape. In December 1948, a Scots regiment massacred 24 civilians in Batang Kali that were unarmed but seen as a communist threat. And apart from massive aerial bombardments, the British also used Agent Orange, the chemical weapon the Americans used in the Vietnam War. 1957, the British made a smart move by declaring Malaya independence on the 31st of August. Therefore, the MCP lost a lot of its support because they always claimed they were waging an anti-colonial war against the British. But now the British themselves declared Malaya independent. They were forced to surrender and the emergency was ended in July 1960. Now you might ask yourself, why did 40,000 British troops manage to suppress a communist uprising in Malaya where near half a million American soldiers failed to do so in Vietnam? You must understand that the Malayan emergency was a far smaller conflict than the Vietnam War. Take a look at the communist threat. The MCP had 8,000 soldiers. However, the North Vietnamese army had more than half a million troops in the field. Also, because of the geographical position of the countries, Vietnam was far better accessible by surrounding countries for help. China and the Soviet Union could deliver weapons to them over land. And the North Vietnamese army was able to lay trails through surrounding countries like Laos and Cambodia. The Malian communist insurgents couldn't do so. And let's not forget that most of the insurgents in Malaya were Chinese and they were considered as foreigners by the Malayan people who often fought side by side with the British against the Japanese. The emergency was ended. However, hostilities were not. And from 1968 till 1989, there was a so-called second Malian emergency. I'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> 